All right, so we're at the main farm, and today I am going to clean off the 7600 and the 8235R uh, before the cleaning Nazis come and start complimenting us on how clean our tractors are, because uh, we're going to be starting field work very soon, and it's pretty important to me that we clean off the tractors for the videos and whatever else not. So I'm going to go through with the power washer. It's Brittany's, and um, I'm going to clean off both tractors, and I'm going to wax them. And you're not supposed to apply wax in direct sunlight, so I'm kind of banking on by the time I power wash them both that the sun will be down more and it'll be behind the machine shed. So let's get to cleaning. Now isn't she pretty? Now I gotta go get the 82 and wash her off because tomorrow is her big day. I just took the air hose and cleaned the floor. Travis washed the back window, but I'm probably gonna wash it again. You can really see the difference between this window and that one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using this tomorrow. So I'm gonna want it spick and span. Might armor all all the plastic in here but um yeah it should look, be looking pretty by the time i'm done now our tractors basically go all winter without being washed because unlike some other fortunate people we don't have a wash bay which would really be nice but we work with what we got I get several comments like, whoa, don't you ever watch your tractors over the winter? But it's just like, okay, you go out in zero degree weather and try washing, you dingus. I have to be really careful on this tractor because the sensors on the side of the engine block can get messed up if you spray it with the power washer, so you have to be really conscious when you're cleaning it. I'm gonna spray off the disc real quick. Now that job's done. I gotta wait for it to dry and go through and wax it. Here we got turtle wax, super hard shell. Now, I didn't put soap on it. I don't know if you're supposed to put soap on it. Normally what I do is I go through and I put soap as I wash the tractors, and then I wash it off, and then I put the wax on but uh, I don't have any soap on hand, so we're just gonna go ahead and wax it. All right, so we're standing here at the 76. I got a little bit of wax on this damp cloth that I have, 
And you guys know that I didn't wash the tractor with soap. I can hear you all simultaneously screaming behind your computer screens, um, and uh, which I'm sure you are. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to wax it anyway. I know I didn't put soap on it and get 100% of the dirt off, but uh, I know that by putting this wax on it will get whatever, whatever dirt is remaining. So I'm just gonna kinda go on there and lather it on. Again, start the simultaneous screams. Mm, this stuff is very nauseous smelling. Okay, I probably should have used a little bit more, but what you're supposed to do is wait for it to glaze over like that. I'll give it a little bit of time. Actually, I'll put a little more on. All right, so now we're gonna assume that this is done. Now, I might as well just go get a different cloth. All right, so now I got me dry cloth, and I'm just gonna rub all of it off. Oh yeah, there's a nice layer of wax on there. And here we have our finished product. Very shiny, very smooth, very pretty. Very nice. So you can see that the top hasn't been waxed yet. It's got it's got all those dust marks and spots on it and down here. It's nice and smooth. So here's your benefit to waxing a tractor. And And now, the hood is nice and slippery, and that's what we want. So now I just gotta do this for the rest of the tractor, which may take a while. Believe it or not, that's the third time I've had to come up here because every time I kept dropping this thing. Oops. All right, time to put everything away. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.